In this problem, we're asked to multiply several sets of decimal numbers and then round as indicated. And we're going to use our calculator to multiply. I'm not sure what kind of calculator you're going to be using. This, uh, this calculator is a TI-84+. Plus. The buttons will be very similar on any calculator that you use. So the important thing is the result that we get and how we round to the correct result in the, in the end. So the first one is 4. 3.2 times 3.17. So let's multiply that out here. And we're going to press enter and see what result we get. And we get 13.6944. We want to round that to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to look at the six digit, which is in the tenths place. To the right of that is a nine, which is bigger than five. So the six is going to go to a seven. I'm going to round then to 13.7. In our next example, we're asked to divide 523 and 14 hundredths by 23 and 56 hundredths. So let's see what happens when we get that put into our calculator. We get 22.20458404. We want to round that to the nearest thousandth. So let's see how we would do that. We're going to look in the thousandths place. That's the digit 4. One digit to the right is 5. So I'm going to round up to 22.205. Part C, we're asked to multiply 0.1 squared. So here's what I'm going to do on my calculator. I'm going to enter 0 0.1. Remember we don't have to enter the leading zero. And then I'm going to use this caret button and enter to the second power. I get 0 0.01. Notice depending on your calculator you can also look for an x squared key and if you press that that will do the same thing as using the caret and we'll get the same result. So the result of multiplying 0.1 squared is 0 0.01 that's our decimal form to write that as a simplified fraction would be 1 over 100 because this is 1 hundredths. In our final example, we are given several decimal numbers with three different operations, addition, multiplication, and subtraction. And rather than worrying about order of operations and doing the pieces separately, I'm going to recommend that you just go ahead and put the whole expression into your calculator and enter everything as you see from left to right and let the calculator do the work for you. Again, I don't have to enter the leading zero with the 0 0.3. So if I compute, then I get 98.173. If I want to round to the nearest whole number, the 8 is in the ones place. I'm going to look to the right. That number is less than 5, so I'm going to round to 98.